Hey, what's up? I'm Ga, this is Seven Mortal Sins. Welcome. Uh, before we jump into the content, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Discord. Link in the description. Uh, today, I am joined by someone off of that Discord, uh, who goes by Lord of the Levy Lovers, who is indisputably the expert on Leviathan and Leviathan's number one simp. Uh, why don't you go ahead and say hi. Hello, I am Lord Levy, as I would be called on the server. Uh, that is indeed correct. I think I can take that crown on the top simp for her, Leviathan. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, break down her kit real quick. Uh, I'm just going to go over kind of what she does at her current maximum potential. Uh, so let's jump in with her skills, uh, starting with her, uh, her passive. So she's got Jealousy Vortex. When battle starts, she's immune to freeze for five turns, inflicts gale on allies, and slow on enemies. So basically what's that that's going to do is give your team plus 12% speed and enemy team minus 12% speed uh, just for one turn but yeah that's pretty much all you need you need that first that first hit to get things rolling uh, and she also has a counterattack whenever she takes damage uh, she deals back 275% of her attack to whoever her uh, attacker is uh, only triggers in the first three turns, but that's good enough for PvP. Uh, next up is her ult. Uh, deals 240% damage. After dealing damage, she buffs her own move gauge by 50% and has a 30% chance to inflict freeze uh, and 50% chance to reduce enemy move gauge by 35% kind of a good utility attack. It's got really long uh, cooldown, not too bad of a CT. Uh, you know, I actually haven't figured out what CT stands for. Do you know, Levy? I haven't quite figured out the CT myself either. Um, I mean, obviously CD would be cooldown, but right. I'm not sure what they're trying to go for with CT. Yeah, I, guess I, thought, I thought I had it figured out once, but I forgot. I guess it would be like count turns or something. I'm I'm not sure what they're going for. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, and then next up is her power attack. Deals 300% damage. Removes fracture and list list from all allies. Uh, inflicts freeze and fragile on the enemy with the highest attack. Uh, and Fragile is really good because it increases the damage taken uh, by the target by 35% for three turns. Super useful in guild raids, uh, super useful in PvP too, like right after this you can just nuke someone into the ground. And her basic attack is uh, kind of like her bread and butter. Um, this is really what she's going to be spamming the most. And by spamming, I mean spamming, especially once you get her consonants unlocked. Uh, if the enemy is shielded, she's going to be throwing like three of these things out in a row. Uh, so it does 260% as damage and inflicts bleed. And bleed is basically just a DOT. Uh, if the target has a shield after taking damage, she follows up with 550% damage. Huge numbers. Uh, and then bleed. Yep, that's that's pretty much it. All right. So, do you have anything to say about her kit, Levy? Um, it'll change based on what you're gonna do with everything. But overall, you're you're looking at a very solid character all around. She's leading yeah. a lot more towards being a supporting role for people. Right. Uh, if you want to break the mold, obviously you can you can put her as a. D but it's going to be very niche where you're right. using her. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. she's got she's got some big numbers on uh, some of her skills. Like, it's kind of weird that her ult deals less damage than her basic attack, um, but it's also good for her because that's what she's going to be spamming out the most. It, it varies based on the kind of content you're going with, so at, at least using her as much as I do, 
uh, her power attack actually has the highest damage cap out of everything. Right. Uh, and that's because basic attack is specific to you have to have a shield. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're looking for just power output, you want her power attack. Her special move is just kind of like a flick in the forehead, but it's <laughs> deep. Its debuffs are so good that like it, it, you can't disregard what it does. Yeah, and what's really fun too is because of her move gauge buff after her ult, she can often follow that up with uh, her power attack if it's ready or like another string of basic attacks almost right off the bat. Yeah, so it's it's she's got a lot of potential to do damage, but compared to what your top tier DPS would be, she's definitely more of a support character. Definitely. She can't carry she can't carry all by herself. Right, right, and her, her main support uh, utility comes from that Jealousy Vortex as well as um, the Fracture from her power attack, but what really makes her a top tier support is her Consonance. Uh, let's go take a look at that real quick. Uh, as you can see, I have mine maxed out. So the only art I would make to that is probably her passive actually takes priority over the Consonance. The, the, the yeah. cons is perfectly wrong. I mean, that 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 defense down will last you for the whole battle, but the yeah. uh, depending on your content, if you're running PvP, her passive skill is going to take the supporting role way higher. Oh yeah, absolutely. That, that Jealousy Vortex giving your team a 24% uh, speed advantage effectively is, is huge. Even at lower skill ups, I think it's only, what, like 8%? Uh, I believe it starts out lower than that, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't Maybe. remember her numbers off the top of my head. Uh, well, we can go check. This, this is what the PD is here for. Uh, so at plus zero, it is 8%. Okay, so yeah, and shoot, I want to say it's a 2% increase each time, so you go to 10 yes. and then 12. Yes. Normally, Normally where you want her is about, uh, shoot, where, what skill level is it that she gets that first upgrade? Because normally you want to uh, get plus the... Eight. Plus eight? Mm -hmm. thought... uh, you're talking about the Jealousy Vortex, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, normally that's where you'd want to get her. Um, but I know that, like, the biggest thing people have said is if you get her to plus three, that's like your that's where you want her as a support and it's purely just to get that extra speed stat yeah the the base speed set and also the uh minus one cooldown on her power attack so pretty much if, if you're gonna go free to play that's that's what you're looking for is get her to plus three and then you're like that's where you want it right uh, so getting into her constants real quick uh so her consonant skill down here on the bottom in the yellow. Uh, so anytime she attacks a target affected by bleed, she inflicts percolate and gets a follow-up attack with her S1. Uh, so percolate decreases that target's defense by 35% and lasts for the entire battle, which is absolutely huge, especially in guild raids. And the thing to specify here as well is if you use her skill one, it immediately activates. Yes. So as soon you can, as you can skill here. one, it'll inflict bleed, and she gets that immediate follow up. And as long as you keep your bleed on an opponent, if no matter what skill you're using, it'll keep activating. Mm -hmm. So if you if you're doing guild raids and you manage to keep that move gauge down to her next turn. If you use her special attack or her power attack, she'll follow up again. Yeah, yeah, she follows up off of any attack. It can be, you know, her ult, it can be her power attack, it can be her basic attack. As long as the enemy has bleed on it, then she'll get that follow up attack no matter what she does. It's especially nutty uh, against Asmodeus on her raid day because her minions give shields, and if you remember, uh, her skill one gives her a follow up attack if the enemy is shielded. So that means you can hit three times in one turn. Uh, it's actually, just to specify this one too from playing around with it, 
Uh, it's actually on any of her hits as long as Bleed is still active. Right. So the fun fact with her is if you power attack, it counts that consonant strike as her skill one. So she mm -hmm. will follow up with her armor pierce skill again. Yeah. No matter what you use, as long as Bleed is stacked on a shielded unit, she'll attack three times. Yeah, it's nuts. <coughs> Alright, so that's, that's what she does. Now, how do we build her? It really depends on what you're going to aim for. Uh, you can be a weirdo, or you can do the top tier builds. And <laughs> when I say if you want to be a weirdo, that'd be a player like me. Um, the biggest things will be, if you're going for low investment, just plus three base Leviathan, you definitely want to do a speed and probably a health build. Uh, she is pretty squishy without her consonants active. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she gets she gets a lot of HP from that. Yeah, so if you if you want her to survive, you definitely need two HP star shards at the very least. Um, two, not specific like main stat? stat. No, no, not specifically the main stat. Um, gotcha. You're talking to the two piece uh, endearment set bonus. Correct. You would want the uh, the ox. Right. Um. Other than that, you definitely want a four piece nightshade and. Mm -hmm. It can definitely vary based on how you prefer. Uh, you want her speed capped out. Uh, her going first is just, that's your your big deal. You want her to get that power attack off immediately, get those defense downs in. Uh, so definitely a nightshade set. And I did two pieces of attack main stats, personally. Mm -hmm. On four and six, I'm assuming? Yeah, because her passive and her... Uh, bleed will scale off of her attack and it's not right. laughable damage even at low levels it's it's still a good chunk off of them mm -hmm. uh, yeah no it, they, it hits back for for some good damage sometimes because it's a uh, 275 percent of her attack so if you stack a bunch of attack on her her counter damage goes up significantly yeah, and then obviously you do a speed main stat on your uh, your slot too mm-hmm um, uh, and I, that that's your that's your low investment. You're a relatively new player. You have her plus three type of investment. Yeah. Uh, even at plus one, I mean, you'd still want that same exact build. Right. Yeah. And once you start getting more invested into her uh, with consonants and skill ups and that kind of thing, uh, you can switch off the HP to either like a Hawkeye or a Slayer, depending on how much uh, crit rate you've got in substats? Um, the normal choice would be her crit damage is decent, but her crit chance is relatively low, even when you have her Karma maxed out. Yeah. Uh, so before Karma maxed out, uh, you're looking at like 15%, and you're looking at 25% after that. So you would definitely want the Hawkeye pieces. Uh, me personally, I still have a two-piece Hawkeye on her. Yeah, so do I. And it's it's you'd want that just because the crit damage she has, it's also not super high. It's decent, but compared to a normal DPS, it's pretty lackluster. Yeah. Well, like I, I like I mentioned in my uh, Belial guide, you want to kind of balance out your attack and your crit stats that way. Uh, you're not overloaded on like one or the other uh, like if you have too low of attack like your crit damage isn't uh, really going to be as impactful and crit hits are uh, kind of a gamble anyway unless you're at a hundred percent so the more investment you have into crit damage um, it's actually a lower DPS than just going straight attack so if, if you want to go for a DPS build on her, which is I'm assuming the the thought process right now is um, you'd you'd want the Hawkeye for the moment. Uh, we're still waiting for the extra consonants stat drops to come out to do the plus tens for her. But um, until that point comes and we get that base crit rate consonants for Leviathan, you still want the Hawkeyes. Her right. crit chance far too low to go without it. Um, yeah, and. He Still, it's still pretty low even with that. Uh, so with the additions of Blood Pact, I would even give her, just like I have mine, uh, the crit chance 
blood packs. Yeah, that's what I did with mine as well. Because mine's at 55% with the blood pack, so she's got good chances, but you're still, it's, it's a flip of the coin. Right, right. Um, so yeah, you so wouldn't her damage going up higher than that. Right. Uh, so yeah, just talking like a end game levy builds um, for the moment. Uh, so I'm running mine on four piece nightshade, two piece Hawkeye with a attack percent uh, slot two, four, and six. Um, and you can kind of get away with uh, dropping the speed on slot two with her consonants, just because she gets a 300 speed from that. So yeah, I mean that's. Generally, that's going to be the build you'd want anyway, is uh, you'd want the three attack lines, you'd want your Hawkeye, you'd want your Nightshade. You still want her to be fast, because her going first, assuming people aren't running a Belial at max attack, or some form of freeze immunity, uh, taking away the other player you might be fighting, or even in PvE, the highest attack fighter, because of that early freeze on her power attack, it's it's better to have her as a speedy character. Right. Uh, oh. Depending on your team composition, of course, um, if you're running uh, like a dedicated speed uh, booster, like uh, Race Raph, Raphael, which, uh, spoiler alert, we're going to be doing a, another collab video later on. You can actually drop Nightshade as a whole uh, and go with Chaos for just more damage. So I can I can send you here the uh, the information you might need for that just on stat lines for Leviathan if you want to build her in an attacker type of form. Because if you're gonna do Chaos shards. You're really going all in. Like you need to have your speed consonants maxed if you're mm -hmm. going to do that. So the big thing there is if you have if you have your four piece chaos, you're going all in. So you'll yep. have your three attack pieces. Uh, and I would again, I would keep Hawkeye like I have mine. Um, later on in the future, there's going to be some changes when consonants gets its upgrades. You can definitely make some switches out. Uh, I've already prepared a couple pieces for those things. But if we, when we can get her percentage of crit chance higher, you can actually switch those Hawkeyes to Scorpion. Until that happens, though, you do not want to take those away. Right. Uh, and so what I have up here on the screen right now, this is uh, Levy's Leviathan build. Um, see, these are his stats. And you can see he is running a four-piece chaos, two-piece uh, nightshade, just like Hawkeye. he said. Oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> Hawkeye. Yes, two-piece Hawkeye, four-piece chaos. Thanks. <laughs> and it brings up her attack real high. Um, for specifically as Modi is raid, uh, she is definitely the second highest DPS that I have. Yeah, and that's about. That tops out my Summer Leviathan, who's actually built for fighting against minion raids. Really? Your, your OG Levy beats out Summer Levy in uh, Asmo days? Correct, and it's purely because of the shields. Um, gotcha. The, the thing to remember is your damage will always cap out at 10 times your attack power. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is uh, Leviathan skill 1, because it triples up and it keeps getting that 500% damage hit, uh, that coin flip crit chance puts her above because I'll be hitting 250,000 uh, damage and crits. Yeah. Opposed to Summer Leviathan, who will cap out at about 170,000 to 180,000 on her hits uh, okay. because her F1 only targets two characters. Gotcha. While Leviathan will hit generally all three. Makes sense. So, depend, it, it, her niche is there. If you get shielded units, she can really put in the, the DPS power. But if I were to use another day as an example, like, um, like uh, actually, Envy Day, Leviathan Day for a guild raids, mm -hmm. Summer Leviathan caps over uh, OG Leviathan because there's no shields anymore. 
So that that shield gotcha. power really make a difference in your in your build on attack power. Right. Um, yeah, I think. But yeah. Uh, I think we covered pretty much everything I wanted to go over. Is there anything else you wanted to add in, uh, real quick? Um, use your waifus. Yes, waifus over meta, all the time. And unsummon every Belial you pull. <laughs> uh, personally, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, I am coming out with a uh, summoning guide if you haven't seen it already. If it's not up yet, it's going to be up soon. Uh, be sure to check that out. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Say Deuces. bye, Libby. Deuces.